And former President Donald Trump is making his third bid for the White House. EWTN correspondent Eric Rosales is at the Palm Beach County Convention Center at the Trump watch party there. So, Eric, what's the mood like there? Well, I tell you what, Tracy, good evening to you. Yes, the mood is very positive, a party-like atmosphere. A number of uh, supporters say that they believe that a landslide will actually take place, while others are saying they're a little bit more cautiously optimistic on what's going to happen tonight, this election night. We have been told uh, that uh, President Trump and his family are currently in Mar-a-Lago right now. Uh, they're going to be watching the numbers come in all throughout the night. And then later on tonight, they're going to be traveling here along with uh, his running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, and uh, give a speech up on the stage behind me. A number of people are starting to come in right now into the uh, convention center. Now, I did speak to a number of campaign Trump officials, and they say it's all going to deal with voter turnout, and that's going to make the difference on this election. Now, uh, earlier this morning, Senator J.D. Vance did cast his ballot over at St. Anthony of Padua Catholic Church in Cincinnati, Ohio. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump and his wife Melania ended up casting their votes just a short distance from here. No, I feel very confident. I have uh, felt, you know, we went in with a very big lead today. And it looks like uh, Republicans have shown up in force. So we'll see how it turns out. Our message is, first of all, we do expect to win. But obviously, no matter who wins, half the country, as you said, is going to be uh, at least partially disappointed. I think my attitude is the best way to heal the rift in the country is to try to govern the country as well as we can, create as much prosperity as we can for the American people. And I spent part of the day speaking with voters outside the West Palm Beach Public Library across the street from the Trump International Golf Club. Which one did you vote for? Kamala. And the reasons why? Um, I just really was afraid from what happened with the last election with Trump. The country just seems to be going in the wrong direction. I'm an, I'm an immigrant. I came to this country. It took me five years to learn English. And I believe I'm American. I don't say that I'm an ethnic. I am an American. Carolyn Levitt, the national press secretary for the Trump campaign, is confident the Trump-Vance ticket will win. The internal data shows him leading in every battleground state. We also look at the early voting trends, and Republicans are outpacing Democrats in many of the battleground states when it comes to early voting. And we know that those voters who like to vote in person on Election Day largely outweigh Democrats. Meanwhile, the FBI has set up a command center in South Florida to ensure secure voting across the country. The purpose of the command post is to ensure the FBI is well positioned to respond to threats that would come in. Those threats include criminal threats, such as threats to election workers, foreign malign influence, cyber threats, and acts of domestic violence. Here in the state of Florida, it's very unique. Half of the state is in uh, two separate time zones. So some of the polls are going to close at 7 o'clock. Well, those along the panhandle are going to be closing at 8 o'clock. But again, Trump officials are hoping for a big night. And I'll bring you the very latest throughout the night. From uh, West Palm Beach, Florida, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly. Tracy, back to you.